because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Barry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. With the Ovo Arena here, I'm joined by the British heavyweight champion, Mr. Fabio Wardley. How are you, mate? I'm good, thank you, mate. How's things? All good. You were struggling a bit on that run well, today, I noticed. <laughs> Where was you on the run, then? I was there. Oh, I was there. I just strolled out of bed and I thought, oh, you know what, I'll do a quick little 5K in the morning. Saturday's my day off, actually, but you know what? I'm such an athlete, I still did some training. So why did you do it? Like, what was the like incentive for you? You train anyway, you're fit anyway? Just to prove that I'm better than all these other little losers out there. <laughs> you weren't as good as Felix Cash. He was phenomenal today. <laughs> what? Felix Cash. Oh, no, no, Felix did smash it. He absolutely smashed it. He lapped me as well, which took the piss a bit, but fine. Credit to him. OK, uh, let's talk boxing. Fabio, did you watch David Adelaide's performance last night on the BT show? No. OK, did you hear uh, uh, Adelaide's comments about you afterwards? Yeah, I couldn't escape them. They're a bit... Um, it was funny, they're a bit contradictory, because it was all saying, ah, oh, Fabio's no one, he needs me. But he spends his, he spends his whole post-fight interview talking about me. And then all of his interviews of you and Umar and that talking about me as well. So which one is it? Am I worth talking about or not? All right, so you didn't see any highlights of Adelaide's performance at all on social media? And on heart. Sorry, I didn't see nothing. I was driving here. I was driving here late last night and I didn't see nothing. I drove here while the boat was on and I didn't see nothing. When I stopped driving, I had my phone was blowing up because I had loads of messages and fucking mentions and that because you lot keep tagging me in your stupid yeah. posts and that when he keeps talking about me. Who's you lot? <laughs> you lot. We don't do him over there. Actually, also, you're too good to hold your own camera now. What's happened there? We're working as a team, mate. Oh, uh, OK, OK. All right, so look, we know you're obviously in action July 29th. Possibly Dave Allen, that's been the talk. What's the latest on that? There is no latest, really. There, we're still playing around with the date. We're playing around with the venue in terms of where we're going to put it. But Dave Allen is probably the front runner. That's probably the the most concrete bit of information you could get from that. But it's still not def it's still not definite. We're still not sure what we want to do in terms of opportunities and around. Like I've got different options I can take. So if we're going to continue with this British path, then yeah, Dave does seem like the most likely candidate. Just talking about... And we ain't got to ruin someone else's career, have we? Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Did you watch Adelaide's performance? Obviously, a few words about yourself and Fabio on the post-fight. I didn't watch it. I forgot he was fighting. No, no disrespect. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't watch no, it no. either. That's no, what I said. I just spoke to someone who said they thought he looked very poor. Okay. But I haven't watched it, so I reserve judgment. It's still a great fight. We want that fight, by the way. And by the way, he's proved time and time again, he wants he wants everybody. He wants Dakers, he wants Adelaide, he wants Fraser Clark. So we don't give a fuck. If that fight gets ordered, I have spoke to George Ryan, we'll take it. But we're planning now, we need early next week, we've got to nail down his date. Hey, Alan? I'm not sure the board will allow that fight, honestly. Having conversations with him, but we'd love to defend the British title. But also, he's ranked in the WBA top 15. He's got a regional title there as well. Just want to get active now. We've been fucked around too lot by people saying they want to fight him, but deep down they don't really want to fight him. So let's fight people that definitely want to fight him. Okay, all right, okay. So as Adelaide moved up ahead of Fraser Clark in the pecking order for your priorities? Yeah, definitely. He's like Fraser had his chance, he threw it away, so that's fine. We already said after all of that, he's he can go to the back of the queue if I even let him back in the queue, so that's up to me. But yeah, David's probably the next one on the list, which is, which is again, the stuff he was saying, like, we've already spoken to, like, we've already had brief conversations with him and his team about getting it done. Like, they've already reached out, so I don't know why he's, like, talking loads of shit for, saying, oh, yeah, maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't. Like, it's, you've already said you want to. Like, I know it's fun when the cameras are out and you want to say this, that, and the other, 
But, like, as people saw as well, when I went through all that phrase and stuff, all I say is the truth. I don't lie. Like, I'm not here for the bullshit and the fun and games. He's, we've already spoken to them a lot already. So they've already said interest. They know what they want to do. We've put a brief outline together in terms of how we and when we want to do it. So we've already spoke. It's not, a, like, it's not far off. I don't know why he comes out and says, like, oh, yeah, maybe I'm going to go my own path and do this. If your own path is fighting like Eastern European plumbers, then go do that. Don't, fight, don't mess around with like people that are on trying to have serious fights and get involved in in big events that are going to really push your career forward. Okay, just before um, this fight starts here with um, Nina Hughes and Katie Healy, let me ask you one more question. Because you've got the British title, in some ways you feel like oh, I'm here. You want me? Come and get me. Yeah, one thousand percent. Like I already like the thing is, I've already earned my stripes. I built my way up. I fought for the British title. I won it. If anything, Nathan at the time was the best contender out there. So I ticked the highest one off the list straight away. I I, I did the first one, the top one straight away. So I've now got to clear up the rest, like David and that. That's fine, no problem. But it's on my terms. You come to me. I'm the champion. You're not on A-side. You're in your call in front of, like, 500-odd people. I won't even sold out. You're struggling. So he's earning more money than you, though. <laughs> you heard that? You heard that? Yeah. I know I heard it, yeah. But do, do you genuinely believe it? Just have a look at where he fought compared to where I was fighting. That's all, that's all you got to look at. you got to look at your call barely selling it out or an O2 with AJ undercard. OK, well, this fight was just about to start, but Fabio, thank you very much for your time. And we look forward to an announcement, hopefully, next week about July 29th. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shot, shot up, Harry. And it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 